us how to make kombucha. So, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to bring to boil about a gallon of water. This pot's a little bit larger, so just measure out a gallon, which is four liters. Once the water is boiled and cools a little bit, we're going to add in a cup of sugar. Now we've got sucanut, because that's what sucanut. Megan has in her cupboard. Right. And whatever you have in your pantry is fine. It has to be sugar though. And actually refined sugar seems to do a little bit better with the culture. Right. Uh, not um, a, like a refined, you can do a sugar cane. Okay. An evaporated... What about um, like a coconut or palm sugar that everyone's going crazy over? Could try them. Yeah. I think it's the more um, minerals or nutrients in the sugar, the more the kombucha has to process to get to what it wants. Uh. So it's a little bit easier just to use like an evaporated cane juice. Right. Okay. So we're going to take a cup of sugar and we're going to pour that in and stir it in. And you really want to let it dissolve until everything's nice and mixed in. Mixed the hot in. Water. And um, then we'll let it cool a little bit more. And then after a few minutes, we're going to add in tea bags. So, so we want to add in the sugar. Do we bring the water to a boil, then add in the sugar? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It does, you know what? It doesn't have to be a complete boil, just hot enough yeah. to dissolve the sugar. Okay. And then we're going to add in the tea bags. So yeah. in order not to burn the tea, you might want to let it cool for, you know, 20 minutes yeah. or so. So we've got um, five tea bags here. You can use any tea bags you want, just as long as they're caffeinated. Right. You can use black tea, green tea, or white tea. And a lot of people love flavors, so you can add in flavors. Just make sure then you use at least four um, high caffeine. Um, so you could use like four green tea and one ginger tea? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Easy peasy. We like that. So we're going to add those in. Stir okay, that stir. up. And um, after, we're going to let this cool for Cool off to room temperature. Uh, it can be a little bit warmer. The okay. SCOBY, the culture, actually enjoys heat. Right. It's kind of like us. Right. So put a... Tea's now cool. <gasps> Just like that, instantly. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. So we're going to pour it into the jar. Yeah. Pour it into the jar. I'll just... Do, 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 do. Water. And if you wonder where you can get these, pizza restaurants. Oh. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, also, if you live in Toronto, tap fun. Yes, you can get everything there. Everything. Everything. Um, so basically, you want to fill it up so it's about three quarters. We could have done a little bit more, um, mm -hmm. but we wouldn't want to go higher than the curve because the culture wants to grow to the edges and seal itself off. The faster it does that, the faster you'll have your own delicious kombucha. Ooh. All right. So what we're adding in now is a half a cup of the already made kombucha exactly. to be our starter. So we're pouring in half a cup. It's like when you make sourdough or yogurt, you already want to have a little bit made. Exactly. To help the fermentation. And now we add in our beautiful culture. Beautiful. So, used loosely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is going to grow on you. Like, I'm sure Over though. the weeks, you just I've always wanted grow a pet. so attached to it. It is like a little pet. Yeah. Isn't it cool? It is cool. You want to keep the like, light side up. It's doing something cool on the bottom. That, is that the baby girl? That's actually, yeah, that. Got it. Yeah. So we'll just squeeze this there into go. the jar. Light side up. Light side up. So whatever side is up when you get it, keep that side up. That was fun. And that's it. So and now we're going to cover it. Okay. So you can use a cheesecloth. Paper towel. Anything. It's just so that little critters don't get in and so that the culture can breathe because it's like us. It likes to breathe. Okay. And um, we'll just put a little rubber band over there. And now it's ready to go. Awesome! Just like that. So we're going to leave it for about two to three weeks. Okay. Not in direct sunlight. Okay. It really loves warmth. So on top of your fridge is actually a perfect place for okay. it. Okay. And it doesn't get in the way there. doesn't get in the way. Perfect. So do we get to have a sample or what? Of course we do. Yes, it is. Can you see that? Oh, it's a great brew. So this is our Love Your Liver Ginger, Megan. Mm. Here, I'm I'll take the top one because it has culture in it. I don't know if you want that. <laughs> I'm loving my liver. Yay! So there's little floaties. Um, those are the good stuff, good things. This is a good brew. Enjoy! Thank you! Thank you! Mmm. Oh, it's so it good. It is good. <laughs> Thank you, Zoe. Oh, you're so welcome, Megan. Thank